Hello guys, it is Lazy B and this is Horus, the free game which you play because it's free and it's free until the 23rd of January. Let's start from today. It started just right now. Go and download it. You have until the 23rd. Already played a little bit because didn't know I was recording. I was not recording, but that's not important. A Paul Helmlilhami game. Yes. God damn it. And A and start and new one. And here we go. Horus. Man 2.0 Oh ho ho If it was really that simple to create a robot That would be amazing That's it Legs, torso and arms and head Nothing else and zap him in the neck and in the pee, pee give him a number and that's it oh yeah of course dial in with the effects machine and voila british iron man without the man only iron <laughs> So, this is the thing that I don't understand. Okay, yeah, they. That's regularly. Every shipping company, whatever, drops stuff, that's okay. They are creating a robot, sending it to a rich man, and the rich man acts like it is his robot, and he created him, and he made him smart and this is an a-hole at least he looks like an a-hole an a -hole now but this is the real a-hole in the family in the house his literal name is Mr. Dick or Dak I think he's Mr. Dick that's more appropriate Ooh, look at me. I'm wobbly schmobbly. And, so and here we go. I was born. The first no need to read. I remember seeing with the old man, the old lady, and their daughter, Hedda. After they'd said hello, the old man powered me down. So the old man and the old lady software. do not have names. Only the daughter. I could tell they were nice people. The old man didn't give me a silly voice, or stupid personality. And the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, Heather He's a robot. didn't like me. Why would he need Once clothes? I time to get used to walking, the old man of asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. Oh, so it is X. Okay. Next, the old man spent a couple of hours building some wooden platforms. Oh, sorry. He, said he wanted me to jump up them, but I must admit, I was scared. It wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. So, either the daughter knows something or she's very shy. Or scared. That could be another and thing. Then rearranged the platforms. He told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. Heather said, "Sorry again." Made it louder, but when I smiled at her, she just frowned and looked <laughs> away. The old lady arranged some pillows and blankets. She said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. Yes. Yes. 
and that's it. Reached the other side, the old man just smiled and said, "That'll do, for now." Yes, very good. Very good. <laughs> Learning to walk, chapter one. That oh, we finished chapter one, I think. A couple of days after those first lessons, the family had a big meal, and I was introduced to everyone. Was there a guy in there? Professor was the old man's brother. He was what you call it? And Painting? always seemed to just kind of stare at me. He had lived with the old man for five years. The house was so huge they barely saw each other. He preferred he just to stared at stay me. in his room, leaving everything up to his butler, Mr. Deck. Yeah. As he insisted everyone call him, although the professor always called Anton him Deck. For a while, he Anton, you're him such a bastard. dick. But the old man made such a stop. Eh. Dick. It sounded racist. Yeah, and that's another thing. If Yellow Man would not sound racist, he would still let him call the robot by that name, even it's even if it's insulting and not racist. That's strange. I guess racist is worse than just insulting. Although it all went wrong for some reason. Mr. Silton showed me a video of his band. Yeah. I'm sure some people must like it. Hell yeah. I just found it terrifying. You just don't know anything, dude. It's rock and roll. Then there was Alice. She was the cook. She was a nice old lady. Yeah. When she was younger, she had been a TV chef. Then, years later, she had a small part in Coronation Street. Mr. Simpson said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. She kept old newspapers and bicycles. And something about a poon in a shoebox. <laughs> it's a poo in a shoebox, of course. To show them what What's Alice wrong with that? Of. What else does he do? asked Mr. Silton. The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Could he help yes. me with my newspaper collecting? Yes. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady, but he can do all sorts of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton, shove a stick up his ass and he can do Dex's job. Now, now <laughs> said the old Hell lady, yeah. we have company, pointing to some important looking people. Two large men, both called Gary. Set up what the old man referred to, to get it. He said again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other, but I shouldn't be worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I Lazarus. Was, I couldn't die. He said it was like, Is that like the in a video game. The thing in Batman? I didn't understand. He said he would explain another time. The whale or I don't know. You know the the Russell Gould thingy? God damn it. Why okay. Be smart. Be good. Smart. Dumbass, just be smart. I did it on my first try. What the hell is going on now? Okay, almost ran into it again. Running like a Naruto. In Naruto. Not exactly a cold calculator. Also called Naruto Run. Said the man in black. The man in grey laughed. What kind of artificial intelligence was that? He asked. Move right unless there's something in the way. Oh, 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 sorry. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, said the oh, old oh, man. oh. He turned to me and whispered, They're going to fuck them up. Quite a bit tougher. 
but I'm sure you'll oh, be fine. Oh, okay. That's good enough. Family friendly game. Oh, it took me such a long time to understand that you can crouch in this game. Yeah, hell yeah. Halli up. And... Hello there, buddy. Oh, shit. Thank you. And a one, and a two, and a three. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. Then rearranged the room one last time. The old man smiled. Now, now, there's no need to look so glum, he said. I'm still happy with everything you've done today. So this well, time, I finished I everything. I did everything. Proud. So what the hell? Okay. It doesn't look that difficult. Okay, maybe here. Maybe here it gets a little bit difficult. That's simple enough. Oh shit, okay. Oh god damn it, one mistake and going all the way back. I get it. I was so close. Oh shit, no, no, no. Oh no! Wrong button. Now to, it will take me... It will take me an hour. Of course, why not? What? Come on, come on, yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, pass through me and here we go. Oh shit, that was close, that was close. That's even closer. Oh shit, almost did it. What the hell? Uh, yeah, here we go. Actually, seemed quite happy when I made it through. We might have a winner after all," said the man in black. "It's no kill by three thousand, but you can almost see the fire in its eyes." A couple of days later, the old lady eh? said she had a surprise for me. My own room. She also wanted to play me some music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. <laughs> Yeah, he loves that mu this music, really. As if music wasn't amazing enough, the old lady then bought me a television set. Wow! I saw. I watched everything I could. They don't, have, they don't have a normal television, but they 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 they, 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 they have an Iron Man. In their one day, house, the old man set up a small box. He plugged some cables into the television and said, This is what I'm gaming. And I said, Video games. Yeah, I played games. Again, yeah, so good. I took on everyone. I was unstoppable. I had enjoyed music, film, and television. Here we go. Video games really were the highest art form. PlayStation 2? No, no. Hey.
Table tennis for two. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Good enough. Oh shit. Are you gonna give up? Oh shit, really? Come on, give up! Let me win! Hell yeah! That's the most interesting part in this game. Playing tennis for two and losing. Okay. Really, I need to win? Is that a criteria? Oh, so the handle doesn't count, really? I still touched it. Yee. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yee. Trying to concentrate, do not fuck it up. Bye bye. Heather's birthday was a couple of months later. Her mum and dad had. And then the Fire Nation attacked. There's supposed to be a huge twist, I'm sure of it. Everybody dies, somebody murders someone, something like that. I don't think that's that family friendly game. If there's a Mr. Dick in the game. Bought her a camera and arranged a day out by the sea so that Heather could take some photos. Although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. Okay. When the man asked the professor Racist. if he wanted to go. He frowned and said, I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing. It could destroy the world. I wasn't sure what he meant. But the old man just smiled and said, that's what you said about the Game Boy. Anton, how about you? Yep. I don't think so, said Mr. Deck. The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch of Woolworths. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. The old man explained that the car was old and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silfen drove, and Alice came <laughs> for the fresh air. Kill them! Oh no, no, don't, don't kill those guys, kill the other ones. Crash them. Being outside. Although the old lady kept telling me to be it's careful about the old walkways, it felt like she was turning me off. But I think she was just concerned. Kind of. For her money. Or she's just friendly. Oh hell yeah! Is the old man and I still Romantic music. I could see something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was, so I asked the old man. He said it was a battleship that had sunk in the 1940s. Now I pull off a rocket launcher. Spoke about war. And... <laughs> see what happened. But the metal platform Heather was climbing on had collapsed. She was safe. Even if the rocks she was on looked very dangerous. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the Coast Guard was going to be. So I offered to climb down and get her. The old man agreed. But do I have to? Careful, as Heather doesn't have infinite lives, like I do. Do I have to? Okay. That's more interesting. Okay, not really. Very bad. Very bad. Gonna do it fast, like Sonic. Like Sonic, I said. Oh shit. Really from the beginning? Really? Maybe some save points here and there would be nice. Oh, no, no, no. Running too fast. Too fast. Too furious. Too fat and curious. Hell yeah. Yeet. 
Hell yeah. How far did she fall? What the hell? And her leg was broken. So I picked her up as gently as I could. I and squish her so hard her eyes would pop off. Oopsie. Uh, so I cannot run with her in my hands. That's awesome. And then she hated me even more. Yes? That's how the story goes? Can I drop her? Trickic, trickic. How are they here? What the hell? The medics made sure Heather was okay, and then took her off to hospital. A few days later, we all went to see how she was doing. She was fine, but would have to wear the car I'm fine. for months. She smiled! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! The end. Robot saves local girl. Mechanical hero robot, hero robot. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah, amazing. Is that okay? That doctor looks strange. Me, we became good friends. Hell yeah. We enjoyed the same films and TV. She was also annoyingly good at some of my favorite games. You're a robot. You have. She became very interested in. You have to have really good ref reflexes. That's impossible. That she could beat you. If you're that good of a robot. We spent the next couple of months visiting other countries, as when it came to teaching me things, the old What are you trying to do with this robot? Interesting locations. Oh, sorry. He had explained Keep pushing buttons. Mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Why there? Taught me history in the dead of night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. Why there? And you could do this at home. High up in a hot air balloon. This is why I was surprised. <laughs> oh, almost. The restaurant. It was nice, but it seemed very somber compared to the previous Le location. Sedilim something. And this was nice and quiet. Plus, it was his favorite place to eat. We talked about life, the universe, Douglas Adams. Everything really. When I asked him why were we here, why did we exist, he just smiled and said, "Life is like a game. Just don't expect to be finished anytime soon." When I looked puzzled, he said, "Well, everyone should have a purpose." So I asked him, "What's kind of? my purpose?" He thought for a bit, then said, "So you want to be a real boy?" Which just confused me. Well. Eventually the old man said, Maybe no, not. I want you to help clean things around the house. I must have looked unimpressed. As he then said, Okay. I want you to clean one million things. It didn't sound like the meaning of life. But I suppose you've got to start somewhere. What was that conversation? What the hell? Learning my purpose. Didn't learn anything. But okay. The next day, the old man said he wanted to install some more software. So he powered me down. When I came to, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me. And that I should pull his finger. I don't think I got the joke. So the old <laughs> man powered me down again. And... Here we will end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is an adorable game. 
I still think there's a dark twist somewhere there, even if there's not. The game is cool. I like it. But that's enough for today. This is... How do you call this game even? This is Horek. It's free until the 23rd of January. Go and get it. I think the story is good enough. It's fun. It's just a fun game to pass your time with. And why not? It's for free. Please subscribe, leave a like and write something down below. Bye.